I made my biggest mistake like 13 years ago when I first moved to the Philippines. I had a girlfriend and I felt sorry for her and I thought maybe I'll build a house on her family land. Big mistake, very big mistake. I went ahead and I took a lot of my reserve savings and I built a beautiful little vacation house. And when I was finished, the mother told my worker at the time that they're gonna break us up and take the house. The best word of advice I could give to you foreigners is never, never build a house for a Filipina girlfriend. No matter who it is, no matter how sorry you feel for the girl, don't do it. I was fresh from America and I had this girlfriend and she's a very beautiful gal and I was really in love with this girl. And I thought like, oh, I had this grand illusion of growing old together with her, taking <laughs> care of me when I'm an old man in a wheelchair. Not quite yet. Also, I felt sorry for the girl. I thought like she needs to have a house because I know how important houses are to people. What I really should have done is just rented a house and not built a house. What was I thinking? Oh my gosh. I blew a lot of my reserves, almost all of my reserves building this house for this girl. When I was new to the Philippines, my mindset was naive. I was thinking like, this girl's gonna stay with me, my girlfriend, and maybe we'll get married and have a family. And it's just not the right thinking you should do with a girlfriend. The girl followed the orders from the family. The mother said, leave Brian, and we're gonna take this house. And that's exactly what she did. She followed the orders of her family. As beautiful as the Philippines is, look at this gorgeous beauty all around. The ocean, the clouds, it's a gorgeous country. However, there's a rough side to this country too. It's called survival. And a lot of these people in the Philippines, not all, but a lot of these girls, they latch on to foreigners for a big gain, a big value. And the foreigner may think he's in love with the girl, but the girl has really no love for the guy. She's just trying to take advantage of him. I hired two big jeepneys. We went over to that house and we cleaned out all my private property, my personal effects, the couches, the TVs, the beds, everything. And then the girl's parents came down with the girl and they said, hey, what are you doing on our property? And I said, I'm taking my personal property. You can have the house. I got scammed for that house. I had to just leave it because obviously you can't take brick by brick the house and put it in your pocket, but I can take my bed and my, my personal belongings. I went ahead and loaded them on two huge jeepneys and the family just got irate. They went ahead to the barangay captain who lived right next door and they said, look what Brian's doing, he's taking his property. The barangay captain said, of course, it's Brian's property. He can take his property. And the mom was kicking and screaming and upset and very angry and the girl, she chastised me. She said, why did you take that stuff from our house? So you might want to reconsider doing all this stuff and feeling sorry. I was like, you know, I felt sorry for this girl and look at the way I was treated in the end. Kind of sad, I hired three of her brothers to help build the house. They didn't even do it for free, they were charging me. I had to buy merienda, drinks, everything. And after about two years or one or two years of building the house, they wanted one of the brothers, he got married and had a family now there's living in my house. That's really good. I paid him to build the house. Now he's got a free house. Be careful in the Philippines. Don't get yourself scammed. I felt so sorry for that Filipina, wanting her to have a good life. And, and she didn't even give a rat's ass about me 1%. She just took that house when it was ready, cut the relationship. She had a free house. Another word of advice is don't feel sorry for the Filipina. They have their own life and they, they do quite well by themselves. And don't think that you're gonna rescue her because you're probably gonna be taken advantage of by her, especially building on a family's land. I mean, how stupid can you get? And then when you finish spending all this money, it's like, bye-bye. Needless to say, I was heartbroken by this experience because 
I'm not used to these kind of things from coming from America. We not have this kind of situation that I experienced. And the next girlfriend, we had a typhoon called Yolanda. Do you remember Yolanda? It was one of the biggest typhoons in history recorded. And this girl's house got blown down. It was bamboo. And all that was left was the stuff freestanding that they had, like TV and stuff like that. And she said, Brian, you know, build my mom and dad a house. And I thought, I just got screwed last time. I, no more house building, no more house building. And that was it. You know, I realized that foreigners are kind of suckers for these kind of things. And of course, the family didn't have a house, but I was so distraught by that first experience. I said, never, never will I do that again. I'm a nice guy, but my attitude definitely changed. I was sweet and nice, and suddenly my heart became hardened. I became heartless. And for a good reason, because you've got to be strong to survive. It's survival of the fittest in the Philippines. And just don't feel sorry for people. Why? Because they don't feel sorry for you. It seems like every girlfriend I've had in the Philippines, I've had a few in 13 years, they all have a kind of a bad situation with the living and they want a house, their family needs a house or remodel or something like that. And I kind of say to them like, who am I? Like, I didn't provide the sperm for your family. I didn't, I'm not like anything. So why are you, why are you depending on me when you have, let's say a brother or mother and father and people that can go out and work why are you depending on somebody who's not even a part of your life and you have your whole family right there? And another girlfriend, she wanted me to build a house for her family. They didn't have a family, they had like a little bamboo hut. You gotta respect people and if they have a bamboo hut, you know, that's okay. You know, that's their life and respect it. Don't belittle anyone because that's their situation in life and you can't really change it. But the girl said, change it. And I said, no, I'm not gonna change it. And she said, come on, I want you to build a house, maybe a thousand dollars or more to start construction. And I said, no, I am not going to spend no more money. And then the kicker to the story was, is they're gonna build a house that was not even on their land. And I said, are you crazy? Do not ever build a house that's not on your land. And she said, no, it's okay. We got permission from the grandma and stuff. And I said, no, you're." You're not thinking, your mindset is brain dead. And she said, no, no, give, help me, help our family, you know? And I said, I, I'll just give you a hundred bucks. I'm gonna see how much this is gonna be wasted. I gave her a hundred bucks and they start building the posty and the foundation of this house. And just about a week later, she came up to me and she said, you know, Brian, you're right. And I said, about what? And she said, about building the house on somebody else's land. And I said, of course, of course you never build a house on somebody's land. What are you thinking? And she said, well, the owners came to us and they went to the Brongai captain. They filed a case against us for building a house that wasn't on your land. And I said, of course, you're wrong. And I told you that. And they went ahead and they chopped the posties down and they went ahead and went to another piece of land. But see, people in the Philippines, they wanna push you into their family problems. And you must remember, it's not your problem, it's their problem. You're not even married to the girl, you're just like a girlfriend. So don't get yourself caught up in this trap, like, oh, I love this girl, or oh, she will leave me. Go ahead and let her leave, because she's just using you, and she's probably not worth a darn. So just think twice when somebody starts asking you for houses, for money to build houses, it's not your responsibility. Yes. The last story is a girl that wanted to be a girlfriend and thank God she wasn't a girlfriend. She was a nice girl, you know, she hadn't had a lot of boyfriends, maybe none. And I thought this girl's nice, you know, she's naive. She doesn't have a lot of experience. She had a relative working in like Dubai or somewhere like that. And the girl just suddenly came to me and said, buy me a piece of land and build a house on it. And I said, what? I said, who told you that? And she just talked to this relative auntie from working abroad as a OFW or whatever they call it. And I said, who told you that? 
And she wouldn't answer me, and I knew it was that auntie. And I said, no, I'm not gonna build you a house and lot. Who do you think I am? And I realized that, you know, like these girls, they act like they love you, and then next thing you know, they want you to build a house and lot. No, 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 do not do that. And it's a big red flag. So if you find a girl that ever wants you to do that kind of thing, the best advice to you is to say no, don't feel sorry for her, probably run because she's using you. Stay clear of girls' families' problems or situations. Just remember, it's not your problem. You didn't make that problem. They're there to make you solve the problem, but you don't need to solve the problem. That's their problem, not your problem. And that's just one of the things is that when people start involving you in their problems, they want you to solve and fix and build houses and take care of their brother who's drunk and smoking all the time and give money for everybody. Just don't do it because the Philippines is a great country, but foreigners get scammed. And I've got scammed a lot in this country. And we're gonna talk more about that in another show. But just keep yourself clear of the family situation. Just remember, their problems are not your problems. Living in the Philippines is really great. It's a great country. But just remember that don't get involved in people's situations. If you like this content, if you learn never to do this, please subscribe and like this show. I'm here to try to help you avoid the pitfalls that happened to me. It was my big mistake and I wish I had never made it. I lost a lot of money and the girls have no sorrow for you. They just hate you in the end if they're using you. So you need to find true love and true love doesn't involve building houses for girls. So like I said, if you ever experience that, please run away and never come back to that girl. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Appreciate you subscribing. We're doing really well. And we look forward to seeing you. Yeah, we're gonna see you next time. Woo!